Yeah, oh, look, I thought they, they played really well. I thought we you know, moved the ball well, defended well. Last quarter, as a typical coach, you're frustrated with, but seven goals either way. But I think both sides were out on their feet and the defence just dropped away. And, um, you know, I was really happy with the way they sort of, you know, went into the game that we wanted to play and we, we sort of started to get on our terms, which was pleasing. So, um, especially against such a side as Geelong, you know, the side that we really admire, the well coached, well drilled, and, you know, we got to play against a really good side and, and managed to, to win quite comfortably in the end, which is great. The record score for the done, is that you guys are looking at? that just Oh, it's just part of the process. Like, at the end of the day, we, we moved the ball well. And look, it's tough conditions up here, we know. You know, we've been up here for a week, so a bit more acclimatised. And, you know, Geelong been up here a couple of days, so it is really, really tough. We understand that. So, um, you know, the good thing is our players have made it a real home you know, home venue for us. You know, it's another good two wins that we've had up here and I think it makes it six on the trot, so it's a real fortress. We enjoy coming up here, our players love it. We've got a great academy access up here as well, so, you know, it's a second home for us, which is pleasing. Do you have any concerns, five-day break, you know, hard work last Saturday, looking forward to running tonight? Do you know what to expect? Yeah, look, I think you always, as a coach, you go in a little bit concerned, but, you know, Alex Rigby and his team did a terrific job of, of monitoring and getting really good understanding and, we sort of had a, a bit of a plan in place with regard to bringing in those five guys. We just didn't know who would cope with the conditions and who probably needed a spell. You know, we, I thought we made some really good decisions with that. You know, the two 18-year-old kids, it's really tough. You asked Jed and Jake what the, the game was like. That's, that's the hardest game they've ever played in last week. And there's been a lot of plays in that boat again tonight. So, um, yeah, so fantastic thing for us is the players that we were awarded played really well. You know, I was pleased with, you know, Ned Moore, I thought it was outstanding. Sam Day, um, Dave Swallow just, he's a guy that he's like a, a plug for me. I just put him where I need him and he, you know, doesn't complain, just gets the job done every week. So I was, uh, I was really happy with the way those guys went. Well, I think, you know, at the end of the day, Bailey deserves all the credit. He's got a really good understanding of what makes him a great player, and he started to understand that. You know, he's another player that has got great flexibility within our side. And look, he hit the scoreboard really well tonight, which is great. And, but his ability to win contests and get forward is pleasing as well. You know, he's a thumping kick. He's a great contested player, put on great defensive pressure. So um, credit where credit's due. He, he put in a power of work to, to get to the form line that he is, and hopefully he continues next week, B. Carlton. Oh, look, he's um, look. It's a little bit precautionary. Obviously, he had some some issue with his lower leg. So once we find out, you'll find out. Um, we hope it's not too serious, but we're not too sure. So once we get a fair indication of what that looks like, we'll pass on the information. Oh, it's like a kick, I think. So look, whether it's a little little fracture in his fibula, I think, or something, we're not too sure. We're hoping for the best, but you know, once again, he's. He's such a brilliant player, that kid. Like you look at him, and you know he's one of those players that people want to see play. So hopefully he's all, all okay, and hopefully he gets a glass of cement and he gets on with it next week. Now you said a couple of weeks ago that you basically, um, I don't think you have to apologise to Jack Lopez, or you said that you were wrong. <laughs> yeah. Clear now that he's not yeah, it was good. It was great tonight. He's been great the last couple of weeks. You know, he does, he's done some really nice things. Uses the ball really, really well. Probably just hasn't had his kicking boots this year, and. Probably the first time I thought the scoreboard reflected his dominance of the game. So he's also playing second ruck for us, which we love. You know, he's just a really, really smart player, valuable player. And it was one of those ones as a coach who makes some decisions. And, you know, the good thing about it is he, he proved himself right. He sees himself as a forward and, and good on him. You know, I'm really happy for him. And what I will say, though, is when he did go back, he gave 120%. He improved his game from a contested point of view. And I was really happy with how that went as well. So... We know what we've got. Uh, we certainly know we've probably got a better forward than back at this stage. It's not something that always continues or anything. You said for a while that you think the second half of the year will be better. Do you think you've, have you seen enough to think you start to turn the way you see your game? Well, yes and no. Like, there's going to be ups and downs. Like we're ten, what are we, 10 games in, so it's going to be a challenge. Like Every now and then we're going to have a bad game sort of thing, but there'll be some things that we'll learn out of tonight's game that will will take moving forward and I think the players will get great belief in what it looks like but more importantly what it feels like to play Suns footy. Um, you know, I thought they really capitalised on that 
you know, one of the things this footy club under Dewey was always strong with was their contested game and their clearance game, and that's still strong. What we started to work towards more as a turnover-based game, and I think they're starting to see the dividends of that. You know, I was flat that we gave up some goals late sort of thing, but um, it was like 1985 out there with a the scoreline of 164 to 100 or whatever it was, but um, look, they're making inroads. So as long as we keep growing, we keep improving, we're going to be happy. Yeah. Oh, look, I, we love coming up here, there's no doubt. We can't wait to get back to Heritage as well. You know, we're not back there until, I think, another couple of weeks away. So, um, look, the good thing about it is we've got two, two really strong homes where we play some good footy, you know, run defeated in Heritage, run defeated up here. So, you know, the more games we can play up here, probably the better too, but we want to play heaps more at Heritage as well. So, um, it's people's first stadium, I've just realised. That's real bad. Real bad. I apologise, people's first. People's first, people's first, people's first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we'll give them. We obviously fly back on the red eye tonight and get in, I think, at 6 six ish or something in the morning. So they'll have the weekend off and we'll get to back to work on Monday. We've got a really big challenge, you know, Marble Stadium versus Carlton, who are a really good footy team as well. And you know, the challenges we start to, to, to look forward to, you know, we've got to make sure we can. Continue to push the really, really good sides. It's another test. You know, we sort of want to haven't won away yet. And we want to leave our mark on um, in Carlton and the, the Marble Stadium. So let's make sure we get to work.